Welcome back to the channel, the place where we are making your Bronco your dream Bronco. All right, so today this video is gonna be a little bit different. Um, it's not a how-to video. It's not, you know, any one specific thing. I'm just, I'm in the shop, I'm working on my Bronco, and I figured I would just kind of record as I go. And if there's any gems of knowledge in here, then great. Otherwise, you're just gonna see me fumbling around um, and uh, working on the Bronco. So yeah, it's not gonna be anything special, but uh, you know, if it's if it's if it's a good one, you can give me a thumbs up. But um, yeah, so just kind of working on some of the issues that I'm having right now with my Bronco, and uh, gonna try to sort some of them out. All right, so here is my list. Uh, my one of the bulbs in my dash. The, the blinker is out. Uh, my front blinkers, one of my front blinkers is out. Um, one of my rear driving lights is out, so a lot of electrical stuff. My reverse lights are like always on when I'm in park or neutral. Uh, my windshield wiper stopped working. Uh, my door seal is coming apart. Steering's a little bit loose. Uh, seat covers and hydro boost. I'm actually gonna make separate videos about those. Uh, and I'm gonna do a power steering cooler with the Hydro Boost. Um, I need to get some new axle breather hoses. And uh, I noticed that my oil pan has a dent in it and it's been leaking. So I'm gonna do oil pan and gasket. So this one just looks like the bulb is out because you can tell I'm getting 11 volts there and I've got a good ground there. Now my other one I've just completely destroyed trying to get out of there. Yikes. I need a new one of those as well. But I know this side was working as well. A good ground and 11.2 volts. All right. Order and So with this one, we're actually not getting power. So I'm wondering where that is coming from. So this is one, this one's weird. Um, you can see that it works. What is not normal is this doesn't work with my headlights on, but it works as a blinker. Um, so that's what I don't, I don't really know what's going on with that. This one is working. So I'm just gonna see what the uh, reading is voltages on it. Ground, 
right, so with my rear driving light, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna pause on that, work on a couple other things. I'll put the Bronco up in the air and try to actually trace the wire going back that is for the driving light. I don't know, right, but I'm gonna move on. So with my reverse lights, these come on when I'm in park or when I'm in neutral, but it actually turns off when I'm in drive and reverse, <laughs> which is awesome. This is hard to see under here, but right here is the I don't know what's called transmission controller. So the transmission shifter rod comes down to here. And then this actually, I can't move it from under here, but this actually shifts the transmission. And then this is your uh, kick down cable throttle, yeah, kick down cable for your transmission. So I'm wondering, I'm wondering if this is off. So like, if you want to, let me get a better shot here. So if you wanted to adjust your, your shifter on your column, you'd actually loosen this nut right here, uh, make your adjustments so that when you're in drive, it actually shows you're in drive. When you're in park, it shows you're in park. Um, and then tighten, tighten that back down. So I'm wondering if uh, this is off, but that wouldn't make sense. So from here, wait, so hold on. I'm, I'm thinking out loud here. Bear with my, my processing here. Uh, so this is in the right place because my transmission is in the right place. Like when I shift into drive, it shifts into drive. So it's not down here. So just trying to think about this the right way. When I shift my shifter into drive, my transmission goes into drive. Now, part of your wiring system, you have your neutral safety switch and you have your, uh, no, you have your neutral safety switch. Your neutral safety switch uh, tells your car not to start in park and neutral, all right? Your neutral safety switch is a positive, or it's, it is a, it's sending signal to the solenoid saying, hey, don't start, we're in park or neutral. When you're in reverse, your transmission is sending signal to your lights saying, we're in reverse. I wonder if I have those two mixed up. <clears throat> now to find those. All right, so here's where I spliced in my neutral safety switch to the painless harness and and then it goes to this little connector ah oh, man i totally just think i have these wired backwards they're both the same connector but i just lost the all right we're gonna do trial and error here Nope, that wasn't it. All right. Swap those.
Ta da! All right. Beauty. Now, if we put it in reverse, then our reverse lights work. Ah. All right, now windshield wipers. I'm gonna check the fuse on those. So it's uh, a little bit tricky to get into my glove box, but in there is my fuse block. So <clears throat> this is the painless wiring harness fuse block. And one of those fuses is for my wipers, the wiper motor. So now I need to figure out which one it is and then swap it, well, see if it's blown and then swap it out. My pliers, wedge my hand in there and pull it out. There you go. I don't know if you can see it, but it is, I got a bad fuse or I blew the fuse. So I got another one and you can see that fuse is good. So now put it back in. Voila! So this is another one. And it is my door seal. Originally what I did was put some, I don't know, gasket maker type stuff. And just over time, like my doors are sagging more and more. And you can see that they don't line up super great anymore. Cause even when you do align your doors, when you add, um, you know, change the suspension, change stuff, jump your Bronco. Then obviously your alignment, your door alignment is gonna get off. So it's even right here, it's pulling apart. And that's just cause when you shut my door, it is not totally in alignment anymore. So under the Bronco, uh, I just installed the Hellwig sway bar. If you haven't checked out that video, definitely check it out. Made a huge difference uh, driving my Bronco. Um, but, so this is the uh, Duff Heim, Heim steer, And as you can see, it's got just that little bit of play. So I wanna take that play out. And these, you have to tighten these two um, nuts, but in opposite directions at the same time to, to get it to tighten without loosening that little bit. So I need to do that, look at that. So when I jump my Bronco, I didn't really realize it, but I was hitting, the track bar was hitting my oil pan because I don't have any bump stops. So I need to put some bump stops in here. Um, there's one, and the other one, I have the raised track bar bracket, but I think I can still put a bump stop in right there. 
Um, and this was actually hitting right there. I mean, I'm not jumping the Bronco that much, but you know, you just gotta, you gotta fix the damage when you do and try to make sure it doesn't happen again. And uh, my axle tube breather, so it tore apart. Um, and so as you can see, it doesn't even reach anymore. So I need to find a longer one of these, which I could just pick up at any auto parts store. So that actually worked pretty well. I loosened up this side, jammed a couple of screwdrivers in over here, and then tightened back up this side. And it took the play out of that. So we'll see driving that, if that helps at all. Just cutting this little part out, hopefully that's my issue. So looking at this wire on here, this one actually looks like the wire got burned, probably from that terrible connection that it had. So I think I'm just gonna order a new bucket and splice it, splice it in that way. Now I just twisted these together. Uh, the light came on for a second. Yeah, I think there's something in this. I think this connector is bad. Oh, look. So, so yeah, I think I just need a new tail light housing. So put one of those on the list as well. All right, so that's it for today. Kind of a video of randomness. Hopefully, hopefully you gleaned some amount of wisdom from that uh, as I was just kind of Working on the Bronco, thought it was fun. Just making a little video, but uh, thank you guys so much for watching this one. It's coming next, so at some point, at some point. I got a couple more things. I'm gonna do the Hydro Boost on the green one. I'm gonna do heated seats and new seats on there. And then I'm gonna jump on the new build, back on the new build and uh, keep going. But there you go. Thanks for watching. See you next time.